Today, let's talk about using Newton's second law of motion to reaching your full athletic potential. Put simply, Newton's second law of motion is the equation force equals mass times acceleration. This equation is important for athletes to understand because it takes high amounts of force to be an elite level athlete. If you want to be able to hit more home runs, throw 90 miles per hour or more, have elite level speed that catches the eyes of scouts and recruiters, or have an insanely high vertical so you have the ability to dunk a basketball or do other amazing athletic feats on the football field or volleyball court, then you need to be able to produce an extremely high amount of force. So let's break this equation down. Step one is mass. This means you need to find an optimal body weight. In my opinion, this is the first goal of most amateur athletes. Whether you're too big or too small, finding your optimal body weight will improve your athleticism. A good general rule to follow is to try to get your body weight 2.5 times your height in inches. This will vary depending on your sport, position, and other factors, but this is a good general rule to follow. For example, if you're six foot tall, then you're 72 inches. 72 multiplied by 2.5 equals 180. So if you're six foot, then your minimum body weight should be 180 pounds. Achieving an optimal body weight is done through your diet. Yes, a good training program can help, but you could have the perfect training program and you will not gain weight or lose weight if you're not eating the appropriate amount of calories. If you need to gain weight, then you have to be in a caloric surplus. This just means that you're eating more calories than you're burning throughout the day. If you need to lose weight, then you have to be in a caloric deficit. This just means that you're burning more calories throughout the day than you're eating. The best way to, uh, to track this is to utilize MyFitnessPal. It's a free app on your phone that you can use to figure out how many calories you're eating per day. It can be difficult to get in the habit of tracking everything you eat, but the athletes that do this achieve far greater results than the athletes that don't. Let's say you're 6 foot 170 pounds and have the goal of getting to 180 pounds by the spring season. Here are four steps to follow to help you achieve that goal. Step one, weigh yourself and consistently track everything you're eating for at least one week. Step two, figure out what your average caloric intake was for that week. Let's say you averaged 3,000 calories per day and still weighed 170 pounds by the end of the week. Now you know that you need to eat around 3,000 calories to maintain where you're currently at. Since your goal is to increase your mass by 10 pounds, you need to increase your caloric intake. Step three, give yourself a calorie goal to eat every day for the next two weeks to one month. Since your maintenance calories are at around 3,000, try increasing your calories to 3,250 per day. This should start to put you in a caloric surplus. Step four, weigh yourself weekly and make sure you're starting to add mass. If you're not gaining weight, keep increasing your calories until you do. Remember, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So get in the habit of tracking your calories and developing a plan to achieve your goals on the field. Achieving an optimal amount of mass is the first step in being able to produce a high amount of force to do amazing things on the field or court. Check out part two of this video tomorrow and I'll talk about the second part of this equation, acceleration and how to improve it. And as always, if you're ready to take the guesswork out of your training and want to start reaching your full potential on the field, then send me a DM or click the link in my bio to set up a time to come in for a free assessment. We'll talk about your goals and put you on the path to success.